Let's, uh, let's go see this hole. Do what? This is an EMS visit and a grinder hookup? They have it all in this city, okay. This is like those combo Taco Bell KFCs they used to have. Hippies, what's up? This week, I want to get spooky, ooky, scary, and I want to watch Sinister. It's from 2012. This is a movie I've seen, like, years and years and years ago, so I feel like everything's going to be fresh to me, so I hope I just jump out of my skin. I don't remember much about the synopsis of this. I haven't even watched the trailer in years. I just know that it's scary, and it's about a house. And I think... I think the dad's pretty hot in this one, so let's see if I'm right about that. <laughs> what did you guys think about the movie? Let me know in a comment down below. If you want to see this full react, it'll be up on my Patreon. If you would like to join the Patreon, and link is down below as well. We have a private community Discord where we watch movies together every Saturday. I post videos to this channel every week. And if you want to hang out some more, I stream every day except for Saturday on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash robbyp, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And before we start this movie, let me thank my sweet PTA patrons over on the Patreon. Thank you for your money. Thank you so much to my sweet tier patrons, Alexandra, Dante, Helena, Janie, Catherine, Parker, Fat Cat, Quadro, Reginald, Reina, Summer, Talti, Kazizi, and John Doe. Thank you everyone for supporting me in whatever way you can. I appreciate it no matter what. A like is a like, a comment is a comment. I will take what I can get. Let's get to the movie. Why don't dads ever show their dicks in these movies? We keep losing. We have guests coming soon. You better stop making a mess. See? Your badass kids in here. <laughs> these millennial parents. You take their iPad away and these kids go crazy. Oh my god. Y'all okay? Is this what Kana's singing about? <laughs> what kind of Rube Goldberg ass fucking machine was this? Evil fucking Macaulay Culkin set this shit up. I would be so mad if I died with a potato sack on my head. Let me die serving face. Laura Palmer. <laughs> I've never seen Twin Peaks. Oh my god, is this Ethan Hawke? Girl, I'm gonna gargle that Ethan cock. <laughs> He's speaking my language, bitch. He walked in with a cardigan. I said, sign me up. <laughs> These are my people. Sheriff? Your husband around? Ashley? Do you have an appointment? The fuck? You wanted to move here. No, I had to move here. The new story I'm writing is here. <sighs> you couldn't just gone an Airbnb or something? Fuck. What were those invented? <laughs> we had to move here for your dumb little story? I miss my school. <sighs> She's gonna draw something freaky and fucked up on these walls, isn't she? No one flip on a black light like an orphan. We're gonna see something crazy. I'm tired of driving five miles under the speed limit. I need to get ticketed anyway. Be nice. Oh, Jim, they really don't fuck with you, huh? Afternoon. Is there a problem? No, sir. Just a friendly visit. You couldn't have waited at the door. You had to be in the middle of the fucking road. But you know what? I do have a couple extra copies of Kentucky Blood in my office. If you want me to get one out and sign it for you, I'll do that. No, thank you, sir. I mean, I'd have been like, yeah, I could sell it on eBay. Why not? I mean, I'm here. <laughs> but uh, cold in morning, you got it wrong. Blood Diner? Yeah, that wasn't my fault. Right. Your bad That's theory you killer go free. You ruin people's lives. <gasps> he did? Whoa. Oh, I hate to say it, but I'm on this cop's side. Ooh. You can never explain something like this. If you were able to, the odds are we must give the answer. No, we did our job. You'll see that. Living on a back road must be so cunt. No cars are coming by. Serenity. If writing true crime has taught me one thing, it's that whenever an officer of the law tells me that I'm wasting my time, it just means he thinks he's wasting his. Oh, uh, he's one of those. Uh, this could be shot in 2024 and he'd be doing his dumb little podcast. Ugh. I find this to be an extremely bad taste. Why is he talking shit about your house, girl? Damn. That's <laughs> all we could afford. I've only sold one bug. Like. Oh, no, he said he sold like three. What are your sales looking like? <laughs> Ellison, we didn't move in a few houses down from a crime scene again, did we? No, you moved to the house of the crime scene. It happened in that house, didn't it? We didn't. Promise? I promise. <gasps> I know this house was cheap as hell, bitch. Crime scene? I wonder if it'd be easier to hire a hitman to kill someone to lower the price of a house than it would be to just like buy a house full price. Like I wonder if it'd be cheaper for all of that. Can I write a hitman off of my taxes? This 
seems a little soon is all I'm saying. <laughs> that bridge hasn't moved an inch. When did they die? Last week? Addicts are always fucking evil, I swear to God. Addicts in basements, just stay away. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Enjoy, kids. I'm not likely to be able to eat out much this time. Aww. Why not? Do you know why? Because I spent all my money on getting my roots bleached every other week. Duh. <laughs> Once we're not paying two mortgages, we'll be fine. And once I sell my new book, we'll be on easy street. You don't even have an advance or anything? You haven't even sold it? Well, I might as well hear it from you. Are you listening to this? Yes, I'm listening. All these kids have inches. Okay, damn, look at these units. <laughs> he knows how old I am. Shiny, too. Kentucky blood was 10 years ago. Oh. Mm -hmm. She said, give it up, bitch. <laughs> it was your 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> if this goes sour, like last time, oh. I'll take Trevor and Ashley and go back home to my sisters. Doesn't it feel a little late to be talking like this? Why don't you tell him that before y'all move so he would really, you know, th think about it. <laughs> Oh, don't leave the door open. That's evil feng shui. Close that shit. Oh. And I'm so sorry! Oh. What the hell? Let's do this. This is about to be evil as hell, isn't it? What if it just plays two girls on cop? <laughs> This ominous background music. I hate seeing the shoot, that's so annoying. Steam that shit, fuck. <laughs> oh. Because that family outing didn't turn out well, huh? Now, why are you gagged about this when you have pictures of their dead ass bodies? <laughs> Oh my god, who was holding the camera, bitch? We have a whole legal pad for those two sentences, huh? <laughs> Some of these thoughts should be left as thoughts. Like, I don't know if you need to really write these down. I don't think you're gonna really be forgetting any of this. Why would you film it? To go viral, bitch. Why does it want to film anything? So I can get that sickening AdSense revenue. <laughs> Didn't even lock it. People in horror are so fucking careless. How are you gonna be in a murder house and not lock your doors? <laughs> Girl, that was her shadow. That shit scared me. <laughs> That's gonna be that nasty little redhead bitch. I know my people while well. we're devious. <laughs> Clock that T. Clock it. Clock that T. Thank you, Daddy. She wash her hands. Maybe one day I'll paint something really good. Then I'll be famous like you. <laughs> or you'll get killed by a faceless entity in this demonic ass devil house. Yeah. What's more likely? <laughs> I'm gonna write the best book that anyone's ever read. Um, the Bible was already written. 2,000 years ago when the earth was made by Jesus, so I don't think so. <laughs> See, for me, I would give up on the book and I'd just sell these reels on the dark web. Some fucking freaks would pay so much money for these. <laughs> this feels excessive. Is that Ron Weasley's car? <laughs> oh wow. Stephanie's a serial killer girl, she's at it again. 
Whoa. Operator. Hi, uh, King County Police, please. Is this an emergency? You have an iPhone and you're calling an operator? Do they still have those? What? <laughs> Oh, he had these crime scene photos printed out on good paper, too. Ah, he's dedicated, freak. You came back and left the box. I'ma put your shit in a cardboard box. Leave it in the attic and I'm dropping it off. <laughs> oh. What was that? Damn it, bitch. Mm -mm. This might be a different ghoul. Someone crab walking through the fucking house. <laughs> you better go hide in that room with Ashley, bitch. Uh uh. <laughs> this better not be a weird fucking little kid again. It's the silverware in the China. What are you so scared of? Damn. Oh, uh uh. <laughs> oh. oh my god, is he a This is a common occurrence. What do you mean he's having one of those? I thought these were over. It's just the stress of the move. I found him in one of the. One of the moving boxes. He'll be all right in a few hours. He'll be all right when I send him off to foster care. I'm not taking care of this little demon. Uh -uh. I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm just really sorry. It's not your fault. <laughs> Wait till you get a load of this in about 45 minutes in this runtime. <laughs> You're not going to be saying the same thing. No, well, the night terror is a special kind of bad dream. Mm -hmm. We would have remembered. You better not touch that gorgeous mane. Uh uh. So, Ashley, you excited about your first day at the new school? Mm -hmm. That's a what lot of you? toast. I guess. Stop it. Hey, you two- More toast? Damn! <laughs> Eat up, kids. You're running late. Come on, you heard your mother. Grab some road breakfast and skedaddle. Maybe we'd have more money and a stable budget if we didn't spend it all on fucking loaves of bread that we weren't eating. <laughs> oh my god. This is as strong as hell, damn. <laughs> Sting? <laughs> that makeup is set, mama. Underwater in that mug? Okay, right. <laughs> Kind of have a snuff film on Super 8 instead of like someone's iPhone 6, right? <laughs> oh my god, you burnt the part where it was the ghoul's face. Look at me in there, my big ass nose. Leave me alone. I went for a night swim. I didn't sign up for all this. <laughs> it, what did you do? I drew a picture. He drew a picture with a permanent marker on the classroom whiteboard. Oh Tell him what you drew. I drew a tree. With four people hanging from it. Go to your room, Cheva. I need to speak to your father. Oh, that is a bit much. I thought he's gonna be like, I drew a dick. Like, that seems like something he would do, but okay, you're getting a little dark. But bad things happen to good people, and they still need to have their story told. They deserve that much. You're a real man of the people. Oh, come on. You just want a paycheck, bitch. You're not a hero. <laughs> That tree's sturdy as hell, holding up two adults and two kids. Oh my god. I'm getting the kids to bed. Uh, kiss them a little dark, <laughs> but. <laughs> Ugly carpet. Hope he burns this house too. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> this one isn't really as experimental as the others. Is this like earlier work? What the fuck? <laughs> 
can see them other kids' dead bodies, but not this one. <laughs> okay. Think you're too good for it? <laughs> for the horde? Like, what the hell is that insignia? <laughs> No, go look at that mirror. See if they got a video of themselves. See if they caught themselves an accidente. True crime writers and Facebook moderators probably have so much trauma. <laughs> oh, damn. Clean your keyboard. Oh. It's a lot of funk. <laughs> Evil. So I guess, like, the missing component is just always, like, a kid. Oh. I throw up. Oh, my God. That's so scary. You gotta handcuff these kids to their beds. Like, if this is another child doing something fucking rambunctious and annoying, <laughs> I can't take it. I would eat in a horror movie. I think horror movies would be easier for me than, like, romance. But that's just because so many people want to have sex with me. Like, ugh, wouldn't be easy. I know this car again stinks, bitch. You've been wearing this the entire movie. Like, what? <laughs> Wearing a different shirt at least. Oh my god. I'll have to fucking wear a new pair of panties, bitch. I just pissed myself. <laughs> and this is what happens when you leave your doors unlocked. Just welcoming evil. And I am victim blaming. Lock them doors. <laughs> This is all very incognito. No one will ever suspect you coming. <laughs> I thought those black mold stains were like <laughs> that evil symbol again. <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> See, if this were me, my order of operations would be a little different. I would not be going straight to the fucking dark ass attic. I'd go to the fuse box first. Whatever stuff there's gonna be there <laughs> by the time I get these lights on. Oh! Oh! Roaches! What's underneath it? More scorpions? <laughs> oh my god, we're a snake! What the hell? Ooh. You can stay up here then. Damn. <laughs> sure we'll find another poisonous friend in here. Sorry if you were homegirls with the scorpion. That's my bad. <laughs> Sleepy time. Your parents are potatoes? <laughs> I was legitimately about to say he's gonna fall through this fucking ceiling. That wasn't that far of a drop, you're fine. Well, he is old, they're fragile. Just checked out, I think you should get stitches. Can't force you though. Yeah, and I'm not gonna go. I'm a struggling author with 2K2. Do they afford a hospital visit? <laughs> I've been laughing like Scooby Doo recently. Let's, uh, let's go see this hole. Do what? This is an EMS visit and a grinder hookup? They have it all in this city, okay. This is like those combo Taco Bell KFCs they used to have. I did see a small snake though. Snakes don't have feet. Oh, he's a cop, I'm an idiot. I'm guessing that you got squirrels with no way in or out up there and all the power going off in the neighborhood. I, I bet that they got spooked from the sound of everything shutting down at once. Okay, Mr. Schuster, thank you for that professional opinion. I did kill a scorpion when we first moved in here, though, so maybe I should get an exterminator. Well, the scorpions have feet, but you wouldn't hear them like you would squirrels. Well, uh, You could go. <laughs> Deputy, I need you to step outside, okay? No, 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 this is my private office. I'm serious. I know, Just Mr. Oswald, listen, listen, you know, there's, there's... He's about to post on Reddit about all this. He's gonna fucking leak your shit, girl. Acknowledgements? Yeah, well, yeah, and, and in each one, there's always, like, a line that says, you know, I, I couldn't have done this without the tireless efforts of deputy so-and-so from the local police department. Right. A girl, fine, get out. I'll put you there, leave. Yeah, yeah, there are a few things you could do for me, actually. Really? Yeah. Uh, firstly, get the fuck out of my home. <laughs> I also need any details you can get me on another murder. 1979, a family was burned alive, parked inside their own car in their own garage. What city? I don't know why. I spend so much time investigating such grisly content. 
Fame and money? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! You look so much better now. The glow up. Right, but in police work, getting something wrong means ruining people's lives. Good. Sounds like you know a lot about that. <laughs> I'd rather cut my hands off than write a book for fame or money. <laughs> Who's buying this shit? Anyone? Little barnacles. <laughs> Let's go through a little bit more. Do we have any pictures of ourselves? Maybe naked? <laughs> I'll take a shirtless pic, whatever. We see the guy in black phone? I haven't seen that movie, but I do know that scene. You know what I'm talking about. <sighs> it would've been so fucked up if they drew Mr. Briggy with just the biggest, like, you know, like, V-nose. <laughs> <gasps> Bitch, how did you see him there? <laughs> I know you were annoying with I Spy. I was shouting out the answers, like, oh, give me a second to look. So scary. <laughs> he looks like he's dressed up kind of nice, at least. Is he a ghost? That's a good ghost outfit to have if he died in this. Whoa, this is so high quality. See, for me, I'm out. <laughs> we still have the other house. I'll go get a job at Costco stocking shelves. I'm not dealing with demons and ghouls, no! Mr. Boogie, aka the Boogeyman, bitch, huh? That's above me, that's above my pay grade. Wait, did you say 2976, like 2976? Yeah, why, does that mean something to you? Uh, no, no, it doesn't. No, thank you, thank you, deputy. I don't like him leaving this nasty monster on his home screen like that. No, what the fuck did I just say? You gotta treat this computer like a Ouija board, girl. Say goodbye, throw it in the river or something. I'm sorry I ever fucked with you, Mr. Boogie. Ew, little tiny nasty kid hands. Don't be mad at me because I'm alive and you're dead, ho. Ashley. Now how did this child figure out a Super 8 machine? She can't even do division. The goon cave setup. That's inappropriate. <laughs> He's gonna pull that picture down and that nasty goblin is gonna be right <laughs> Get the gun. Get the gun. Absolutely not. White men never own guns in horror. It just doesn't make sense. What do you mean you only have a baseball bat? Where's the assault rifle? This weird little kid is gonna be out here, the one that's uh the boy with the night terrors. He's gonna find him and get scared and fucking thwack his ass. <laughs> Both of his kids are weird, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> now what did I say? I found him outside. We have to put a lock on his door. It's way worse than it was. I'll call the doctor in the morning. You didn't think you would needed a lock on this door before? What? Don't get me started. <laughs> a dog? Where's your owner? How'd you get here? We don't have any immediate neighbors. Where are you from? I just want to get my bat. Oh, my fucking god, he's not even growling at you. That's fine. You keep it. Well, that dog said this is none of my business. You have fun with your goblins and ghouls. I'm out. <laughs> Something that's eating you up, and whatever it is, it seems to be getting to Trevor as well. Something's different yeah, something's this time. Different. You want to know what it is, huh? How you, 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 how much do you want to know? She's one of the smartest people in horror I've ever seen. She clocked your teeth 30 minutes in. Do you remember how it was when I was writing Kentucky? Do you remember that? I remember uh, well, this that. is much bigger than that. Much. Okay. I'm talking about a potentially important work here. I'm talking about a mega hit. This okay, well, I'm talking about leaving with the kids, so you can talk about whatever you want, because I'm out. I'm just worried about you. Well, don't be. 
Nothing is wrong. Then why did you come in white as a ghost? Didn't you fall through the ceiling not two days ago? Do you think I could come in for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. <clears throat> Just build thin. If I ever go missing the bill, better say bodacious, natural double D breasts, natural God given BBL, no surgery, petite, frail diva. That's why I ever go missing, you know? You guys know what I want. <laughs> so, where do you think that drowning happened? The pool. <laughs> And see, this is why I always close my blinds no matter what I'm doing. Even though I'm just sitting in my room mouth breathing, those blinds are shut. You're not looking at me. <laughs> is it raining? I gotta catch a cold, Mr. Bug. Oh my god, this is just like Scream Queens. I remember this scene. <laughs> You're not supposed to mow your lawn in the rain. <laughs> I guess they're more concerning matters than that. <laughs> What I brought up here. <laughs> that is from Sacramento. That's about 30 years ago. It's a symbol uh, associated with the worship of a pagan deity. A deity? What kind of deity? Mr. Booger is a pagan deity? Well, any worship of this deity That's would include a, uh, blood up. sacrifice or the wholesale eating of a child. So you're <gasps> this symbol is, is just like children? Wayfair. <laughs> There's been another one, hasn't there? What gives you that idea? Tell me everything you can. No, bitch, I'm the one writing the book. I don't know anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're doing that shit on. I left the light on, too. Now y'all know how to use lights in this house? Oh, this is kind of giving art. I don't know. Scared me. This is scary. This is scary. Why make sounds? What does that what does that mean? <laughs> Bitch! Your head is coming right off your fucking shoulders, girl, with how hard and fast I would hit you with this baseball bat. Nasty little decrepit kid. Looking like you're made out of concrete. Ugh. You need some shea butter or something. Your skin is cracked. Ugh. See, in this room, I'm flinging that, that baseball bat down the hallway. Do some Harley Quinn shit when it like bounces up and hits her right in the fucking face. Y'all are too grown and too big to be acting like this. Enough. <laughs> Leaving the doors unlocked, leaving the blinds open, burp. Oh my god, she's like frozen in fear. I wanna beat that little red head up. Girl, I am the only ginger in this house. <laughs> and she's an artist too. She has to be dealt with, no, no, no. Stop, what the fuck is gonna be behind this curtain? This is the only blind we decided to close. Oh, what's that? Is that a fire? Or did you just fall asleep? Oh. Okay. So if I were to ask you something in earnest, you, you wouldn't read too much into it. Um. Do you think I'm cute? Uh, <laughs> does she know whose house this is? Was? Rotted. So what? Saw something weird, heard I'm something spooky in the house. You want me to sew it? Yes. Precisely. Yes, precisely. Fucking geek. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't believe in any, um, <laughs> you know, stuff. This under lighting on Ethan Hawke is getting scary. I also think that you've begun discovering things about this case that go to darker places than you were prepared for. I also think that every time that I've been to your house, there's a whiskey bottle in your office. Oh, doesn't no, appear to be no, the no, slightest no, no, no. He's reading you. 
girl. I thought that keyboard typing was some nasty, creepy critter just crawling around. I wanted to paint her picture, but she didn't want it in my room because that used to be her brother's room. Who are you talking about? Stephanie. Who's Stephanie? My creepy friend with robot psoriasis? She used to live here. She used to one day he's writing his book about. Oh my god, she just... She just exposed that the bitch lived in this house. <gasps> oh my god! What the hell were you thinking? Did you think I wouldn't find out? Girl... <laughs> it took a lot longer than it would have for me. It's not like they had to wipe blood off the walls for the open wait, so house. saying it didn't happen here? No! It, it happened in the backyard. Oh, that is so soft! <laughs> so what Trevor drew last week, that happened here. Yes. The previous owners of this home were hung from a tree in our backyard. The previous owners of this home were hung? That's all I need to hear. I'm moving into- Oh, they were killed. Oh. Never no, mind. <laughs> My daughter has a father who loves her, who is always around, who encourages her to be herself. All right, the worst thing that has ever happened to her is one time she moved into a house where a family was killed. Oh, no. The worst thing that's happened to her is she moved to a house with a popcorn ceiling. Oh. What else oh, yeah. do you want from me? How about a life that doesn't involve our kids drawing and painting the sick details of some horrific tragedy or, or working out their deep-seated anxieties by doing bizarre shit in the middle of the night? <laughs> Don't you understand that writing is what gives my life meaning? These books are, are, are my legacy. He said, fuck the family. That's not my legacy. I don't know them. What are you doing what you love, Ellison? Not the cuck chair. <laughs> you and me, right here, this marriage, that's the meaning of your life. I, and your legacy, that's Ashley and Trevor. Your kids are your legacy. She didn't slam that door. She closed it a lot lighter than I would have. I'm knocking that door off the hinges, girl, just like your dad knocked the screws off my pussy last night. I'm sorry I painted on the wall. I know. Wait, y'all, you still decided to sleep here after all that? After she painted a little dead girl in the hallway? <laughs> Time to wash that card again, you nasty. <laughs> hey, up, you guys? Yes. Today, I'm vlogging my parents sleeping. <laughs> and why is there a light coming from it? Oh my god. Uh, save that for me. Boop, 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 phone that back up. Not my business. I've seen enough. I'm scared as hell. No way he is. <laughs> Look how dry they are. <laughs> Being a corpse does, do you? I need Mr. Boogie to come like crawling up the attic ladder after him. Oh, bitch! <laughs> you got me, girl. It, do you burn Ouija boards? No, you can never burn Ouija boards. You can't do that with the ghoul shit. Burning it never works. They're demons from hell. What do you think they're gonna care? This is normal to them. Put them in the freezer or something. I don't know. <laughs> no one will go for another commotion, huh? What the hell are you doing? We have to leave here. Oh, now you come to that conclusion, bitch. Oh, you're freaking me out here. Get the kids. Pack the car, we have to leave. Me? I'm not going back in this Go! fucking house, bitch, you do it. It's, who are you yelling at? Your little car to go. <laughs> See, y'all can afford new clothes. Little kids shit is so cheap, got old navy. I would take these kids and throw them in the car and go. There's always sales going on at Kohl's, it's fine. Why are you letting him drive? Mass. Driving pretty fast for this time of night, don't you think? Anything I ought to know about? 
I'm selling the house if you want to buy your it. Advice, that's all. <laughs> Which advice would that be? Leave town and never look back. Oh, I had a hand that license registration to him, and I've been like, be on your way then, goodbye. <laughs> now, you weren't bullied away or anything, were you? I don't want to be reading in your book that angry town folks chased you out of here. Oh no, it's something completely unrelated. It was a it was a pagan ghoul. Don't worry. You moved out of this fucking house into that fucking crime scene. I'd be so much more upset than these kids. Oh no fucking way. This is crazy. Nothing can make me move out of this house. No, I'm actually so gagged. What the fuck? You're telling me no one wanted to buy this house? You're telling me no one wanted to buy this nice big old house so you could have used that money to buy that crunchy house? You know what? Whatever. It's a movie with demons and ghouls and fucking ghosts. It's got to suspend my disbelief a lot. I don't have one of those. That's not my business. Oh, the scorpion. The snake. Is there going to be a snake? Carpenters of Doom. This Max sponsorship is fierce. Early Christians believed that Bagula actually lived in the images themselves and that they were gateways into his realm. Yeah. Gateways? Yes. The and you just left them out because you burned that them, bitch. possession of those who saw the images and caused them to do terrible things. But thank you for your time. You better delete those. Right. Empty that person. Right. We are done. I'll go be a janitor or something. Fuck. Oh, I'd be mad as hell if these demons are back. Oh my god. And now they have a nice big house to live in. <laughs> Works out. There was like six of them. Oh, we got the director's cut. Period. <laughs> I don't have the energy to edit all this stuff together. Give it to me in a flash drive. The fuck? Didn't you hear him when he said when you watch the videos and look at the images, you're letting Bagul out? Why would you put the whole thing together? Girl, you look so dumb right now. I was compiling all of the data that you've had me collecting, and once I started putting it together into a nice readable package, I saw the connection. It was obvious. <laughs> well, then you wrote the book. Shit. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Oswald, you just moved out of the last house in line. If, if this guy is still out there, you not only just sped up his timeline, you put yourself in it. Thanks, Deputy. What the hell are we going to do now? Light the prayer candles, girl. I can't stand you. That's gonna be the little kids that killed them. Cause they were serving Bagul. Why are you gagging? Is that not obvious to you? No, oh, she's sick. <laughs> like him. He was having a little too much fun with it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no, how do we get out of this? What the hell are we gonna do? He'll sweat through his constraints. He'll be fine. He's a very wet man. Don't worry, daddy. I'll make you famous again. Ew, uh, out of your baby long stocking. You think you're so artistic with your Super 8 in 2012. Wait, she kind of filmed, like, she framed that pretty well. Good for her, actually. Maybe she has an eye for this. She is an artist. <laughs> oh my god, I did not remember how this ended. Does she actually kill them? That's way too easy. Aren't there sequels to this? They direct a DVD? <laughs> it's a nice house to die in. <laughs> Better than getting hanged outside of a one story. Whatever.
Uh, meet up! Family gathering! Drop like them kids! Damn, you chopped them in half, girl? Ugh. I know she's exhausted. Need me a skim milk and some applesauce after this. Ooh, I am winded. Throw in some goldfish. Oh my god. Uh. uh. Ah! Scary! This is why I would never look at something that got left in a house. Or just anywhere in general. It was left, it was left there for a reason, bitch. Oh. Stop playing with me. Okay, peace. That was crazy. I did not expect it to end like that. Why did I think Ethan Hawke was going to beat that bitch up? Like, <laughs> I did not think it was going to end like that. Okay. I had fun. I liked it. I remember there was like, um, like a, like a statistic that that was like one of the scariest movies ever back in like 2012. I guess I could see it. It had a lot of like jump scare moments. I feel like that's, I, it had a good mix of both to me. I, I was okay with the jump scares because there was still some other spooky shit going on. It didn't just rely on those. I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. What do you guys think? Let me know in a comment down below. If you want to see this for react, it'll be up on the Patreon. If you want to join the Patreon, we also have a Discord where we watch movies together every Saturday. I post videos to this channel every week, so make sure to subscribe. And if you want to hang out some more, I stream every day except for Saturday on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash rvp at 8 p.m. Standard Time.